Facts about Betty Crocker In the world of iconic characters, some are born, others are carefully crafted. Enter Betty Crocker, a character brought to life through the ingenuity of the advertising world. It all began in October 1921 when the Washburn Crosby Company, which later became General Mills, ran a contest in the Saturday Evening Post. Readers were enticed with a pincushion in the shape of the company's popular product, the gold medal flower. When 30,000 readers completed the jigsaw puzzle, they were sent packets of completed puzzles with messages filled with baking inquiries. At the time, the gold medal announcing department consisted entirely of men, while the home services team responsible for recipes and offerings consisted of women. The messages from women asking for baking advice sparked an idea inside advertising executive Samuel Gill. He believed that women would rather listen to another woman, so he instructed his team to create a fictional female reporter named Betty Crocker. The name Betty was chosen for its helpful and friendly connotations, while Crocker paid tribute to the recently retired company director, William G. Crocker. From 1972 to 1975, General Mills collaborated with Forum Communications on a monthly periodical called Sphere. It showcased a wide range of topics such as food, fashion, and crafts. However, the magazine eventually parted ways with Betty Crocker as it became difficult to attract advertising from other companies. In 1924, Marjorie Child Hasted, the new home economist at Washburn Crosby, brought the character of Betty Crocker to life in the first daytime radio cookery show called The Betty Crocker Cooking School in the Air. Despite its roots in Minneapolis, the show has gained nationwide popularity and has led to hundreds of marriage proposals. Betty Crocker's Cooking School on the Air became one of the longest-running radio programs in U.S. history, running for 24 years. The show even made it into a program called Our Nation's Rations in 1945, in which Crocker, portrayed by Houston, helped home cooks make the most of fortified foods, at the request of the U.S. Office of War Information. While Betty Crocker forayed into the entertainment world, General Mills seized the opportunity to launch a line of Betty Crocker products, starting with powdered soup mix in 1942. Today, Betty Crocker grocery can be found on every continent, except Antarctica. If you ever need cooking advice, a Betty Crocker representative is ready to help you when you call General Mills Minnesota headquarters. A fictional character born of creativity and marketing brilliance, Betty Crocker continues to capture the imagination and inspire home cooks the world over. It remains a timeless symbol of culinary expertise and a constant companion in kitchens all over the world.